Hey YouTube, it's Alicia. I wanted to come and do two videos before I go to the hairdresser. So without further ado, let's get started because I got a lot to do. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the new season of Project Runway, the 17th season. Y'all, I actually watched it last night and y'all, let me just tell you, I loved it. I loved it. I kind of like the new format. Um, we have um, a couple of new people. Um, as y'all, uh, oh my God, let me see. We got Kylie. I hope I pronounced that name right. Kylie Cross as the host and judge. Then you have Brian Maxwell as the judge, and then you have Ellie Wal Walton. Um, she was um an editor for um. Ebony Magazine, and none other still on the panel will be Nina Garcia. Mm, so we, instead of 15 um, contestants this year, they had 16. 16 contestants, that's the only difference. Each year it usually is like 15 contestants, but this year they have 16. I just thought that was like a little, a, a little brilliant. A lot of brilliant and everything just to see so that is pretty good to see um they have christian Cian christian ciano i hope i pronounced his name christian ciano um project runway alum as a mentor and not what's so cool about this just for me just watching him last night he's going you sure about that fabric you sure about that fabric it's like he's gonna he's giving them he's like mentoring them from start to finish, it's like he's mentoring them on a design, on a design, of the design taste. Excuse me, that his design taste, they design taste, and they fabric choices taste, and like he's like trying not trying to help them, but he's like, you sure about that? You sure about that fabric? You sure about it? So I just cannot see. I want to see what 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 else he's gonna do. But this year, I want to say finally. Finally, Project Runway. So, as y'all know, in the past, Project Runway will always have, um, they will have, well, they will be at Parsons School of Design filming. Well, they have their own place now that they are actually filming at a brand new place. And I love, I love the new format. It's sort of like a warehouse like type like thing. And I love it that it's still sponsored by Brothers Store and they have a, um, a, a prize of $250 million, so a quarter of a million dollars that they will be getting, um, will be getting as a prize. But then, what's the other aspect of it that I like about the competition that they didn't do, um, years past, now they are doing, is using their social media to show their designs and try to get it sell and whoever has the most likes or most most likes they will produce the two items on project runway.com and you can it be ready for you to buy and i just thought oh my god that is pretty good and i wonder what the price range of it is now that is one thing. Now I want to talk about the uh, apartments. You know, usually in the part in the past, Project Runway had has always had the all the girls in one apartment, all the boys in one apartment. They don't have apartments this year, y'all. They got a penthouse. Every last one of them are in the penthouse. They have a penthouse where they are at. So everybody is in one, has their own room and stuff. They have twin beds up in there. And it's like, I think it's three to a room or four to a room. I couldn't tell, but it looks like it's great. And now the first thing that I write is one of the girls are Muslim. She said, I can't have no boys near me. Da -da -da. He said, don't worry, I'm gay. And he goes, yeah, I'm gay. And I just thought, okay, that's pretty, that's pretty, you know, that's, that's pretty good. And everything so let me just get started they had to take um so they had to take pictures from every all of the judges past from Brian Maxwell to Ellie to Ellie Ellen to Lena Garcia to um, Nikki Cross pass and they have to revamp it so they had them in groups and they had to make it man they, it was a I don't, let me just say the first first episode was great 
and I love how it was done and great. And y'all, let me just tell y'all, I have my the top two, the top three this week that I loved was I will have to say Renee Hill. Oh my God! I mean, I loved her. I love Tess, Tessa, um, and Vic. But Tessa ended up winning the first challenge. I can never, I can't think of the girl's name, but I don't know. I thought Freddie was gonna go home, but when they said Freddie, you're safe. She like went down and she started crying when she got back. And everybody thought, oh my God, she's nice. And like they was, they had a lot of ill feelings about. I can't. Quaska, it's it's a funny name, but she's from Tennessee, and um, she was the one who went home because I think um hers wasn't up to par to the challenge, but Freddie um hers was up to par to the challenge, but Freddie she did design something. They see the element, but it was just the wrong fabric choice that she went with. But I'm telling you, with plus size girls, you got to have more fabric doing what you buy. I know that for a fact. And I just love the new um I love the new season. I love it. Um do I wish Tim Gum and Heidi was still um on the show? Yes, but I think it was just time for a new change. Um I want to hear from y'all. What do y'all think about the new changes they have done this season for Project Run for the seventeenth season of Project Runway? I'm gonna try to give y'all. If you like this a review of the new season of Project Runway, please give me a thumbs up and let me know. Do y'all want me to keep doing the new Project Runway um, reviews, y'all? Tonight I gotta go and watch. Um, Siren, I didn't watch Siren last night due to the show, but I loved it. So, y'all, until then, I'm Alicia. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Comment below and subscribe.